Welcome back. You know, it's a place you never planned to be, but you're so grateful it's here once it's needed. Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, an award-winning facility, and its pediatric hematology oncology program is one of the best in the country. Joining us to share more is Division Chief, Dr. Jim Founder. Good morning, Jim. Or sorry, good morning, Dr. Good morning, doctor. Todd. How are you? I called you by your first name there. Good morning, doctor. We'll, we'll be uh, <laughs> professional. Jim is always good. <laughs> I know, it's good to I know. see you we again. Know. <laughs> We've known each other for a while. Hey, tell us, could you just tell us a little bit about how great it is to have Helen DeVos Children's Hospital right here in the programs, the award-winning programs that you offer? It's just a wonderful time of year. We are celebrating not only being able to have the community back into its children's hospital, because it really is such a community treasure, uh, but also celebrating once again our uh, success with our U.S. News and World Report ranking. Uh, it's very humbling and very gratifying to know that we are on that national stage and on that national platform with a lot of other very respected institutions and our children's cancer program in particular. This is the 11th year in a row uninterrupted of being named to the top 50 children cancer programs in the United States. And so while we know it's really not about the accolades and about the awards, we really set a high standard of quality for and care for our kids and families. But every now and then it's nice to have kind of that external good housekeeping seal of approval also. Absolutely. And, and people pay attention to that stuff. They know who's winning those awards. And what do you feel sets Helen DeVos Children's Hospital apart, those programs apart from other programs? Why do you think we're in that top 50? Well, it's a great question. We do set a very high standard because these are metrics of quality, metrics of outcomes of our care team together. But I like to think that really here in West Michigan at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, there's an old saying that people don't really care how much you know until they know how much you care. And this is an extraordinary team of expertise, but also of compassion that surrounds these children and families at a very, very difficult time on a very arduous journey against childhood cancer. And so to have those nurses and social workers and child life specialists and pharmacists, technicians and technologists who are all there because they love and care about this work of caring for children and families. Absolutely, and, and you just seeing some of these photos, you can tell there's such a personal touch that the staff gives at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. Is there anything that you may be working on now? Anything new and exciting happening at the hospital? This is a really, really exciting time because I have been in this uh, field for long enough now to see us really turn this corner to what we call personalized precision medicine. Instead of the era where we really only had choices of chemotherapy and radiation therapy and surgery, we are new, now doing molecular analysis, genetic analysis of each child's tumor to find the specific perfect fit medication for their particular abnormality within their tumor, the specific mutation. This means that for many children, there are now options of much less toxic and much simplified therapies compared to that era of chemotherapy and radiation. So as a pediatrician, we're very mindful of how vulnerable, how very fragile those children are at the time of their therapy. And so to decrease the side effects and the risks associated with the therapy and still achieve those very high cure rates, this is the best moment in the history of pediatric oncology. Wow, the best moment in the history of pediatric oncology. That is quite the statement, doctor. I, I, and of course, the molecular and the genetics, uh, that is such cutting edge technology. It really is. And to see those children who uh, we can very quickly uh, make that molecular diagnosis on the most basic cellular level, what is it that's fueling that child's cancer so that it can be interrupted, so that it can be stopped in a much more precise and gentle way than we've ever been able to do before. I think we've seen some photos of you giving out hugs and big smiles too, but uh, the best part of your job, what is it? Oh my goodness, being surrounded by these incredibly brave and resilient children and families and also this compassionate team. But I'll also say that during those summer months, uh, Todd, if you could come into our clinic, you'd see this incredible brag board of our, for instance, our graduates this year, our high school graduates who have sent in their graduation announcements, the graduation pictures, the open house invites uh, to know that those children have come through an incredible journey and come through with a cure of their childhood cancer and are now off on their way to do incredible incredible things as young adults to give back to their communities, to accomplish amazing things, to have been part of their life journey is an incredible privilege. Absolutely, doctor. You're, you and your staff, really everyone at the, that hospital, has have touched so many families here in West Michigan. Thank you so much for spending the time with us this morning. My pleasure. Always great to see you. Thanks so much. You too, as well. Hey, to learn more about this award-winning program, just visit HelenDevosChildrens.org slash impossible slash cancer. We'll be right back.